Welcome to White Threads Floss Tube for 2021. It's been a while since I've been chatting with you. Thank you for joining me again. I think this is White Threads Floss Tube number 63. It's been a while, so it's a bit hard to remember. Well, I've had some big news since the last episode. Just the other day, I sent my book, Freezy and White Work, off to the printers. Yay! That's extremely exciting for me. You have no idea. Uh, maybe you're excited too, but yeah, I'm excited enough for all of us, I think. Um, it's been a hugely long process. It was about five years ago that I first went to the Netherlands to uh, make some initial, well, not inquiries, but investigations to see whether there could be a book on the embroidery and um, then about three years ago when I finished writing my book on Smoig, Pattern Darning from Norway, um, I was able to start work on this book. It has taken a long time. Um, in that time, we've had a pandemic with lockdowns and things like that. And we also moved house from the city to the country, which was a big move. Um, so yeah, my books normally take about two years. This one's taken three to write, and that's why. Um, it is also my largest book that I've ever written. It's 168 pages. Um, and my husband who does the proofreading for me, got totally bogged down in some of the uh, stitch instructions because they are so dense. They were dense to think through for me when I was writing them. They were dense to write the instructions for. They were dense to do the illustrations for. So it has been a huge project and I'm just so pleased that it's finally gone off to the printer. Um, I will see proofs and things back here before it comes to me. Um, and then it will probably be out around April, May, June, depending on where in the world you are. I will put it up on my website for pre-orders as soon as I can. I do have some work to do on my website first, um, so it won't be immediate, but as soon as I can, I will let you know that you are able to pre-order. Um, yeah, so just very exciting to finally have that done and to be able to think about other things. So you're probably wondering what's next. Well, what's next is fixing up the website a bit. Um, but in terms of books, I've had to come up with ideas of books that can be done without a research trip because our borders in Australia are closed and I am not able to travel anywhere. If I was able to get some sort of exemption somehow, I would have to do all sorts of quarantining out of and into the country um, and it's just not worth it to me and it could be years before I'm able to travel again. Um, so I was actually considering submitting for the 2022 EGA seminar, that's the Embroiderers Guild of America seminar in New York in August 2022 and the deadline for those submissions was on Monday. I did not submit because um, I don't even know that I'll be able to travel at that time. Uh, even if we have a vaccine available by then, well, it is coming soon um, in Australia. We haven't got it yet, but we'll be, we'll be getting it soon. Even if we do, um, I don't know that our borders will necessarily be fully open. I will probably have to quarantine when I arrive into America and quarantine when I arrive back into Australia. So a one week trip becomes a five week trip. And I'm not up for that. Uh, you can also teach by video conference and for the sorts of things that I teach, counter white work, you just can't do it by video. Much of my time apart from teaching the techniques and the stitches in my classes is spent checking the counting of my students' work. I can't do that over video. Um, and I think it would be a less than satisfactory experience for all of us. So I just thought it doesn't have to be in 2022. I'd love to go back to New York again, but that can happen at some other time. And America, I'll come to at some point. It just won't be really soon. I'm sorry about that, but it will happen. It will. So for the next little while, I thought it would be um, interesting for you, for me to show you some of the projects that are going to be in my new book, Freezy and White Work. Uh, now, Freezy and White Work, Dutch Embroidery from Friesland. That's its full title. Um, 
The book will be published in Australia and New Zealand by Vetti Creations. That's my company, my business. And it will be a joint publication in the rest of the world with Vetti Creations and Search Press. And we all know Search Press are fabulous craft book publishers. Uh, we did this with my Smoig book. We did it as a joint publication and this one will be as well. So there will be two different ISBNs um, for each edition of the book. They will be exactly the same book, um, but yeah, they are just different editions for different markets. Um, and they'll have the same cover as well. So yeah, when the time comes closer, I will tell you both of the ISBNs so that you can search for it um, with your local uh, needle workshop and ask them to get it in for you, uh, that sort of thing. So today what I'm gonna show you are the three strawberries that I made for this book. I thought these would be a fantastic way of trying out quite a few of the different stitches and stitching styles that are used in frizzy and white work. So this one has lots of chain stitch um, and some eyelets and some whipped back stitch and they are three very common stitches that are used and so that's a cute little strawberry and this one here has eyelets and satin stitch and channel stitch so it's a bit more drawn thread not drawn thread pulled thread so lots of holes with the eyelets um, and it's much more dense stitching than the previous one that I showed you and then this one here has chain stitch satin stitch and top binder stitch which is a really interesting stitch and creates lovely texture and pattern so they are three of well they count as one project really but they're a great way to start learning this style of embroidery because it's just little bite-sized pieces um, that you can make into cute little strawberries they would look lovely on a christmas tree if you wanted to use them as that you could use it as a very large scissor fob if you wanted to i think it's a bit large for my purposes but you know you could or you could just have them sitting in a bowl on a cupboard or on a key tassel like instead of a key tassel um, yeah there's lots of things you could do with them you could give them as gifts um, you could fill them with potpourri or lavender or something like that and put them in a drawer to make your smalls smell nice. Um, yeah, so that's some of the projects that are in the book. And over the next little while, I will show you some more of the projects. Um, I would also like to say in terms of the fabrics that are going to be used in the book, um, we're in a bit of a difficult position here at the moment. I have been... I've ordered the fabric from my supplier months ago um, and because freight is very difficult to get in and out of Australia at the moment because there are I think only about six airlines that are flying here at the moment and it's quite infrequent and that's because our borders are closed um, it's quite difficult to get uh, the supplies that we need and the supplier the Australian supplier to me is finding it difficult to get it from Europe and she said that's simply because they're not really manufacturing at the moment because so much of Europe is in lockdown so things are a little bit frustrating for a lot of people I want to assure you I'm not doing this to annoy you it's annoying me as much as it annoys my customers that they can't get the things they want and we and like I and my supplier just keep requesting and we will continue to do that until those things are able to get to us so thank you so much for joining me today I hope you've had a really lovely holiday season over the Christmas period for us it's summer here as you can tell by my sleeveless top and you can see I see that my hair is growing quite a lot longer which tells you how long it's been since I've last spoken to you so I hope you're doing well for those of you who are in lockdown I hope you're doing okay um, I'm going to hopefully be back a little bit more often now now that I've finished the book yay um, yeah so thanks very much for joining me today and I'll see you next time bye <laughs>